terrible one. War stories have shaped our series, and this one, it has all the makings of the climax scene in any movie about survival, luck, and faith. This goes over the end of the gun. That, that's, that's the bayonet. That's, a, that's the bayonet. This 98-year-old World War II Navy veteran shows keepsakes from his service in the Pacific collected after one unforgettable day at sea. Up it went. Exploded right then. Right then. It was chaotic. I mean, fired. Everybody yelling and screaming. Here's the scene. In 1945, this 19-year-old from Knoxville finds himself aboard a Navy warship off the coast of Japan, having just struck a floating enemy mine. The explosion turned the ocean below into a curtain of flame, and lurking underneath the fire, sharks. Everywhere, everywhere. I mean, the big ones, white sharks. The teenage sailor faced a choice, sink with the ship or jump. But first, he came to the rescue of a fellow sailor in a panic. He says, I can't swim. I said, what do you mean you can't swim? I said, take my life jacket. And I put my life jacket on him and I shoved him off the ship. I said, and you get that life raft, I'm right behind you. And I said, Lord, save me and I'll do whatever you want. And word came back and said, jump. I heard it as plain as if you said that right there to me. He said, jump. I said, jump. I didn't say, hey, Lord, look, you want me to jump in that oil? It's on fire, and there's sharks down there, and I got to jump. I didn't say that. I just went off like a frog. Did you think you were going to survive? Did I think that? I never give it much thought. Both made it to the life raft, then worked to save other sailors from a watery grave. I picked up 10 people, 10 sailors. One of them we went over there to get, and he'd been hit by a shark. And from here down was gone. We just pulled him up and got his dog tags and I gave him to the skipper. Bob Luttrell recalls floating at sea for almost four hours before another U.S. ship found them and pulled all the sailors aboard the rescue raft to safety. It took us 31 days to come from Okinawa to San Francisco. What was it like going under the San Francisco? Wonderful. <laughs> we were on our knees and crying and everything. We were home. Looking back, what was it that day was, was pretty extraordinary? <laughs> I don't want to repeat it. <laughs> How did you think you were going to survive? I don't know. I mean, the Lord had a purpose for me. And that's why I'm here today. This footnote, that sailor also credits a knife he handcrafted from Pearl Harbor steel for helping save his life. In the rescue raft, a rope tied to that sinking ship threatened to drag those Navy men underwater. Mr. Luttrell says he passed that knife to a fellow sailor who cut the rope, saving them from sinking but then accidentally dropped the knife in the sea. So better that steel than those sailors, certainly, Robin.